Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of <clears throat> Mario Kart Double Dash, my second review. I'm going to start with Mario Kart Double Dash. <clears throat> Mario Kart Double Dash is an interesting Mario Kart game, because you have, in most Mario Kart games, you have one person on the car. In this game, you have two people on the car. One person is driving, and another person is throwing back the items. You have our standard cups, mushroom flower, banana, and star cup. <clears throat> We have standard remotes, 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, and mirror. <clears throat> and we have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi, Birdo, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Baby Love, Baby, Luigi, Waluigi, um, Wario, Bowser, Baby Bowser, Peach, Piana, Koopa, or Koopa, I believe that's a character, but I believe that's just a boo. So, for the character, um, so we have a single player mode where it's just you and two characters. I don't know, I'm struggling with this. And of course, you go through cups. Then you have the multiplayer mode, and this is how I believe you should play Mario Kart with your friends. So one person is driving. And yeah, person thrown back items. This is how I believe you should be playing. The first player is driving while the other person is throwing back items. And I believe this, like I've been saying, this is how I believe you should play Mario Kart. And yeah. So, we also have, if you're not up to that, you can also do races where you're up against your own, against your friend or family member. And uh, cups. And of course, you have multiplayer. Um, <clears throat> you have better mini games. This is a fast time that um, it's free for all. Uh, at the Mario Kart Double Dash, you're on Red Team Blue Team. So, this is the last one. You have Bumble Blast. Just so you guys know, I haven't played the whole entire game, but I do know. There's Bomb Bomb Blast and stuff like that. Still have the balloons and stuff, and it's really fun. It really is. Oh, uh, you also have a mode where you have to go. You can go through all of the tracks, and it's really, really fun if you like racing. And this is really cool. But anyways, um, <clears throat> let's just say that there's one a few things I don't like about this game. Number one. To get the star cup, you have to go through the first three cups. 450, 100, 150, and then you get the star cup. Why? <laughs> it's not really smart in my mind. Why can't they all just be there at the beginning? These kind of... Also, the item can kind of be on particular and sometimes this may be a bit of a but sometimes the computers can be a bit unfair. <clears throat> and, um, there's these special items that, um, characters get, like Mario and Luigi have a giant fireball, or Yoshi has a giant egg. Sorry if there's somewhere at, like, Peaches, Blood Hearts. They're not useful. The most useful is the chain cut for the baby. It blasts you sending off taking out any other opponents and killing them out of the way. I say kill because it's fun to say kill. So, also, you can get another title screen from what I've heard. Keep in mind, I played 50 seasons good 100. Not everything, but I didn't remember most of the game. So, you also have oh, you also have different cards. I forgot to mention that. They don't have any other skills though, as far as I know. But you can get an off the cold card if you go for every single mode, and I really don't know what that does. And of course, mirror mode, for mirror mode. You have to know the track like at the back of your hand, so you know what you're doing and everything. And um, I'm not sure about that. Ah. Also, you can play with four players. 
I don't think any of you guys say that, but I forgot to mention that. So, like, come on, extreme chaotic, bomb bomb blast. There you are. I believe you can do that with four players, I, I don't, too. Actually, chaotic, so. Now, I'm gonna go back to pause. Um, let's talk about the music of the game. The music is fantastic. I have the main three playing, um, uh, it's really good, even though it's repetitive as I will say. Um, graphics. Oh. Hell. Look up, look as good as I did back then. As I do now, in my opinion. The tracks, most of them are great, but some can be annoying. And one called, um, Warrior Stadium, that's the wall, and I hate that stage. Purely because it's so long and boring. The Rainbow Road in this game, it's very fun. It has the greatest music I've ever seen, my favorite Rainbow Road. Gotta be careful, or if you're gonna fall to your death. I can't mind that level. And most of them are pretty fun. I can go back for them. Baby Park, this is freaking chaotic, as it is in Mario Kart 8, so you have played Mario Kart Double Dash, and you have Ma and um, you have, um, Baby Park. That's basically what it is in Mario Kart Double Dash, except not as huge as it was in Mario Kart 8. And this is my favorite Mario Kart game. I grew up with, it, with this as a little five-year-old or six-year-old, playing it with my brother. And I played on 50 CC for the most of the time, if I remember correctly. And it was fun. It really was. It's my fourth favorite video game of all time. I love the graphics. My favorite course is in that game, Daisy Cruiser. I may be considered a weirdo for that, but I don't care. It's my favorite course. It really is. And a lot of people have to about this kid. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. It really is. So, I give this game my 7 slash 10. So this is my regular Mario Kart Double Dash. See you guys later. Peace.